Recently, I was working with a client at a TEDx style event. And as part of the coaching, I had taught him that you really need to look at your audience. And when you make a point, look at one person, then look at another person in the audience. And we talked about anchoring the stage to tell different parts of the story. Go to your right to go to the past in your story. Go to your left to go into the future. Stay in the middle to make your main point. He completely understood this and he was really trying to incorporate this into his presentation. However, at his rehearsal, it became apparent to me very quickly that wasn't going to work. He was so uptight about looking at the audience and trying to remember his story that I made an outlandish suggestion. I said, I want you to not look at the audience when you give your presentation. And the reason I suggested that is during the rehearsal at one point, he actually put down the clicker for the slides that he had and he just started walking back and forth not even looking at us and the story was flowing out of him but when it was apparent that the traditional method that I was teaching him was looking at your audience and working the stage that wasn't going to work we threw out the script the delivery script went to something that would feel more comfortable for him and he made a connection Sometimes you've got to be able to go against the grain, go against all common sense and suggestion, and go with what feels right. It did, and it worked. In the next video, you're going to hear why you should eliminate certain small words in your stories that make you sound like you're giving a speech instead of connecting.